We are following developing news out of Las Vegas where Raiders wide receiver Henry Ruggs is now facing felony DUI charges after a fiery crash left at least one person dead. NBC's Issa Gutierrez has more. Tonight in Las Vegas, a deadly car crash. All eyes now on a young NFL star. Las Vegas Raiders wide receiver Henry Ruggs III under investigation after police say he slammed into another vehicle, killing one person. Ruggs was behind the wheel of a Corvette when he allegedly crashed into the back of a Toyota RAV4 near an intersection in Las Vegas just after 3.30 this morning. According to a statement from the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, responding officers located the Toyota on fire. Fire department personnel responded and located a deceased victim inside the Toyota. Ruggs remained on scene and showed signs of impairment. He was transported to UMC Hospital to be treated for non-life-threatening injuries. It's a far cry from just two weekends ago when Ruggs was locking down an at-home win over the Philadelphia Eagles at Allegiant Stadium. Ruggs' attorneys say they will conduct their own investigation. In a statement, they asked everyone to reserve judgment until all the facts are gathered. Ruggs, who's 22 years old, is in his second year out of Alabama. And the Raiders saying, we are devastated by the loss of life and our thoughts and prayers go out to the victim's family. We are in the process of gathering information and will have no further comment at this time. What does this mean for Ruggs and his future? Well, the, the most pressing issue for him is going to be how to deal with a potential criminal charge. The point is someone died and if he's considered responsible for it by law enforcement, that would be his most important concern. Forget his NFL career forget endorsement deals. He literally doesn't want to go to prison. All right, very serious case right now. Isis joins us now live here in the studio. So if Ruggs is charged and convicted, what happens to him? How much time does he serve? And how does the NFL handle cases like this? Yeah, so Tom, a DUI resulting in death is a felony. So he could face anywhere between 2 to 20 years in the state of Nevada if he is convicted. Now, as far as what the NFL does in these situations, the next step would be that Ruggs would be placed uh, on the commissioner's exempt list. That's basically like an administrative suspension. So he would continue to get paid, but he wouldn't be traveling or playing with the team. We heard from an NFL spokesman today saying that this would not happen, though, until uh, charges are formally filed against him. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.